Hey everybody, this is Carol Tinsling with the Southern Home Sales Teams of Keller Williams, Middle Georgia. Just pop in to continue our series on what to expect when buying a home. I'm going to jump off the path. I had told you last session that I would probably talk this session on the contract. Well, I'm going to diverse from that just a little bit, but we're still going to talk about buying what what to expect when buying a home. But I had a couple of interesting experiences over the weekend and I wanted to share those with you and kind of give you an idea of what might happen when you go see a house. They're not always picture perfect, pretty, you know, you look at the pictures online and you think, oh, it's so beautiful. But sometimes things, reality can be a little bit different. So I just wanted to share these two experiences with you. Um, I usually, when I'm going into a house that's vacant, I like to get to the house five to 10 minutes ahead of the client. That way I can go in and turn on the lights, um, check for any weird smells. And if there's any like dead bugs or spiders or anything like that around, kind of get those knocked down and cleaned up. So the house makes the best first impression because you definitely don't want to walk into what could potentially be your next home and walk into a spider web that's just not fun not fun for anybody so i like to try to take care of those um and i have was showing a house that was kind of on the outside outskirts of a, a rural town and i noticed that i was driving up to the house that there were all these buzzards circling around it was just like there was a bunch of them and i don't mean two or three i mean like 20 or 30. And I thought, there is something dead back there in the woods behind that house. And really didn't think anything about it because we kind of live in an area where stuff goes off and dies in the woods all the time. Um, I live in Perry and buzzards, this is a migration pattern for buzzards anyway. And we embraced it and made fun of it. And our annual new year's eve celebration is called the buzzer drop so look that up online if you've not had a chance to see what we how we bring in the new year but anyway there were all those buzzards didn't really think anything about it until we stepped out into the backyard and we noticed there were feathers on the ground everywhere they were everywhere they were big huge feathers and my client said what is this and we started looking around and we looked up in the trees and there were they were roosting in the trees in the backyard of that house now that was kind of a big turnoff and really nothing that the homeowners could do to eradicate that problem we decided we didn't want to live in buzzardsville and even though it works in the jungle book i don't think they're all that friendly and they're nasty and so we checked that one off our list and moved on so get fast forward this was on friday fast forward to sunday and we're looking at a house in a beautiful historic district and um it's a beautiful has a beautiful front porch and we walk up to it and um this one had an occupant and it was hard for me to tell the occupant wasn't supposed to be there, but I couldn't really tell if somebody was there or not. So we were trying, you try to be careful not to walk in on anybody and scare them because we live in the South, you could get shot. But uh, I had noticed on the listing that it said it had an alarm. But when I talked to the agent about setting up the appointment, she didn't mention the alarm and I didn't think to ask about it again. Well, when I opened the door, I found out real quick there was alarm. <laughs> started going wow 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 which caused the neighbor across the street to come wandering over to see what we were up to uh, i quickly closed the door and called the agent to find out what's the code for the alarm and i need to shut it off and tell the police not to come or whatever well the police did end up coming and and while i was waiting to hear back from the agent about the alarm and where the keypad was, because I think I've told y'all before that I've got a broken ankle, so I don't move that fast. And I'm trying to move this through this house that had all of this stuff where the, the occupants getting ready to pack. So stuff's pulled out and piled up and everywhere. I'm trying to move through all of this, find the keypad, which I couldn't find once I got the alarm. 
it was an experience and bless my little client's heart then not so fast the alarm keypad was at the back door the lockbox to get into the house was at the front door i could not move fast enough to set the alarm and get back out the front door so my sweet little client did it for me and i'm so grateful that he was able to run and her through all that stuff but one thing that that we learn in the real estate business is expect the unexpected and we look at the pretty pictures and we see the nice video tours and everything's perfect but it's not always going to be per per perfect so be prepared be perfect prepared because you never know if it's going to be buzzards alarms or spiders and as you're getting ready to go out and look at a house or see something, if, you, if you're interested and you don't have a realtor, I hope you call me, 678-431-1387. Or you can email me at carol at carol-tinsley.com. If you have any questions just about the whole process, reach out to me. I'm here. I'll, I'll be happy to answer any questions. And until we talk again, and next time we will talk about the contract, I promise. Um, until we talk again, remember, be excellent to each other. Bye.